We just got a delivery, and today we're gonna open the box of Moscow Moto stuff. Stick around. Hey, this is Chad with Be Gone For Good. We do videos all about adventure motorcycling. That's why you're here. If you like that sort of content, the bikes, the gear, the trips, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notifications anytime we upload a new video. And if you like this specific one, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It really helps us out. Today we're gonna to be opening my new box of Moscow Moto gear that I got for this year. There's a bunch of different things in there. I'll talk to you about the items I got, why I got them, and ultimately, Maybe you can see some stuff that you might want for your rides this year as well. To start us off, I have a grievance. And it's not a big grievance, it's just a little one. I've ordered countless bags from Moscow Moto. I've got the Reckless 80, I've got the Backcountry 40, I've got the, the Tool Roll, I've got the Nomad, I've got all sorts of different gear and straps and belts and buckles and everything out there under the sun when it comes to Moscow Moto stuff, I've, I've got some of it. And I have never received a t-shirt, never received a hat. I got their sticker packs, love their sticker packs, but never got some of that free swag that everybody talks about. So I finally relented and I bought it. First item on the list, the Moscow hat. I've always loved this hat. I think it's a little bit to do with the color. I like uh, trucker hats. I like the fact that it's a snap and not like a buckle or some screwy back on it. The hat itself is great. The only thing that I would like to see from Moscow that I think they've got a product of, but it's not this type, is something soft that I can throw in bags and not have to worry about crushing the, the, the actual hat itself. Cause this has got kind of a firm starchy top on it. And if you throw this in a bag, you're gonna ruin the hat. And, and I don't wanna do that, but I do love the hat and we'll definitely wear this quite a bit. So thank you, Moscow, for sending me something that I ended up paying for instead of for free. Whatever, I'm not, no hard feelings. I love it. I'm very happy about it. I'm, I'm very happy about it. Oh, they made me a liar. I have gotten free stuff from Moscow because I've gotten a couple of these. So I, I get their dry bags. I use these too. So I remember when I first got it, I didn't think that I would use it because I already had the, the dry bag that was inside the Backcountry 40. I use these. So. My apologies, Moscow. I use these dry bags, I appreciate these dry bags. These are very useful, they're very good. Thank you. Up first is not specifically a motorcycle type item, but I like it and I'm probably gonna use it. I've got two pair of pants that I use other than my adventure pants. I've got a uh, Climb Outlander, I think they call them. They're like the khaki ones that have the armor in them already. And I need a belt for it. And I also have a pair of jeans from Rocker that I wear all the time. Also needs a belt, so I got the Moscow belt. It's supposed to be a really nice leather belt. I hope I got it in the right size. Uh, the buckle is definitely big. The belt seems really firm, so that's that's good. Yeah, it's a nice belt. It's got the Moscow Moto logo kind of embossed on there. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but it's got a nice Moscow lo logo. Feels really really tough. I like it. it. Smells like leather. It's a good it's a good belt. I'll have to try and make sure that that's the uh, right size. I got a bunch of different sizes. I ordered the one that I thought I needed, but we'll uh, we'll see. Good belt. Okay, so I apologize. I forgot about the dry bags, but what I've always really wanted from Moscow are shirts. So I bought them myself because Moscow wasn't giving me one. Here we go. First one is uh, kind of a retro design. It's got the, the gecko on the front. Same design on the back. I like the red. I think that's really cool. Uh, great, awesome shirt. I'll definitely wear this a lot. Next up for the shirts, what did I get? Got kind of a gray, bluish gray. Ooh, I like this, this is cool, this is cool. So it's got the Moscow logo on the front and then it's got the gecko on the back. Very cool, I don't know if that's a gecko. I don't know what that, it's the Moscow lizard. The lizard's on the back. Nice blue, so I got a blue and a red, perfect. Up next, a lot of you know that this year is gonna be kind of an experimental year for me. I'd always worn an adventure jacket, you know, the armor and everything inside. And this year I'm switching over a little bit to wearing armor on my body and then just a jersey over top. But one of the things that I think I'm gonna need, it's not necessarily for everybody, but I'm gonna need some sort of shirt underneath that armor, just so it's not rubbing up against my skin. I don't really like the fabric that's coming with the armor. So there's, there's gonna have to be either a long sleeve or a short sleeve kind of technical layer underneath there. Moscow sells one called their Imbrigate layer. I got it. I'm very curious to see how this works. 
Now the only hesitation I have, or the only worry I have when it comes to this, is it's short sleeve. So I think I really would have liked it to be long sleeve, but the short sleeves seem pretty long. So it might be something that it goes down far enough that it's still, it's not sitting, like these shirts are too short. They, they ride up as you're, as you're lifting your arms. This one may not. Plus, it's just an awesome shirt. So as I'm feeling it now, it's a heavier weight fabric than I would have thought, but it also feels really, uh, really porous, really kind of, uh, uh, like it breathes really well, I would think. So I'm excited to try this underneath the armor. I think this could be my answer to dealing with the, the shifting of the armor and kind of the, the, the scraping of that against the body and then also having the jersey over top and making that kind of the best it can be. Again, black shirt, really cool. Awesome Moscow logo going down the backside, which is awesome. Um, and underneath the arms and along the side of the body, it's got this uh, different sort of material that I'm guessing probably breathes a little bit better. You'll get an update. I haven't done an update yet on the armor itself and how much I like that, how much it breathes, if it's working for me or not, if it's a good experiment but this is gonna be a part of that experiment as well, and I'll, I'll give you an update on this one. Okay, and the final element, this is the big one. This is what actually took me to Moscow to start ordering. All that extra stuff is just kind of, you know, impulse buys at the register type of thing. This is what I actually came here for. So as many of you know that my packing has been kind of a constant evolution, and it's always changing, and one of the things that I really wanted to concentrate on this year is being able to film well, quickly, getting back on the bike. Now, with the Reckless 80 comes the Stinger 22. That's the top bag that sits in the beaver tail. And it's not really a great bag to stick camera gear in. I've always put my sleeping bag in there, extra clothing, small items, sometimes electronics, you know, like the chargers and things that I'm gonna need at the night, at nighttime. That goes in that Stinger 22, but it's a fairly light bag. So what I've done is typically thrown that all the way on the rear plate and then inside the Reckless 80, I put my backpack, which has my camera gear and it's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit farther forward and lower on the bike. So that's where I put it. The problem is that backpack isn't waterproof. So if we ever really got some hardcore rain, everything would have to get shifted. I'd have to put a cover over top of the bag and it just kind of be a little bit of a pain. Moscow makes a duffel bag, 33 and I want to say like 50 or 45, something like that, that I think is gonna work really well to put the camera equipment in, keep it safe, keep it dry, that will fit in that center beaver tail section. So that's what I got. 30 liter, sorry, not 33, 30 liter. And this is their, their duffel. Now, they had an original of this that I also liked. And if I would have been smart about it, they did a sale on this before the new bags came out that I probably could have got it a lot cheaper and it essentially does the same thing and I would have been much better off. And they had ones that had cosmetic issues on them too that I could have gotten that cheaper, but ultimately I went for the new one, the new updated version. I'm very excited about it. And I'll tell you what got me on this bag as opposed to a, a thousand other waterproof duffels that I could have gotten. First off, it is top opening instead of side opening. That's one of the things that I'm gonna need so that I can unclip the beaver tail and just dive right in, grab the camera out, and I don't have to worry about unbuckling from the side and trying to slide everything out. It's just in and out right off the top. That's That was my main point, especially when we're riding and it's not raining. All I have to do is just fold this one time and I've got enough rain protection that I don't have to worry about it, but I can also get in and out very easily just by unclipping the beaver tail and getting in there. The second element that I thought was really, was really vital are these little catches right here on either side. So I can strap this to the bike without anything else. If I ever want to dump the Reckless 80 and just take the camera equipment or a little bit of gear, I can strap this to the bike really easily and I've got a fully waterproof, fully um, foldable, ready to go piece of luggage right here that pops off the bike and I can take it with me if I'm going into the hotel or if we need to arrange something else. It's just a super versatile bag that I've got ready to go. The fact that I'm putting it on the center of the bike and high, I'm not as worried about abrasion protection, but this is some really, really thick vinyl. Um, if you know any of the Moscow gear, anything that's in the Backcountry 40 or even the Reckless, this feels even thicker than that. Um, I would guess this would resist punctures, definitely scrapes, any sort of slides, would probably not get through this. It might damage the material, but it's probably not gonna get through this, which I'm also very excited about. The other element that this bag has that some of the other duffels don't, are these little backpack straps. So I know when I was going down to Honduras the first time, getting all the gear off the bike, and granted I had hard cases at that time and I was working with the Backcountry 40, so much bigger things. It was really nice to be able to throw something on my back 
so then I could have my two hands free for my helmet or my gear or extra cases. And that's one thing that Moscow does really well is including these, these straps in there so you can throw it on your back and have to an easy walk away with it. Now, again, this is all sort of an experiment. I don't know if this is gonna work for exactly what I want it to work for, but I'm excited to give it a shot. One of the other great things about Moscow gear is that if it doesn't work for you, if you buy something and you're not super psyched about it and it's not maybe the best fit for the type of riding you do or the type of packing that you wanna do, you can go up on the forums and sell this stuff for almost exactly what you, what you paid for it. Sometimes when they run out of stock, you might even be able to sell it for a little bit more. So it's a great investment because it is so coveted, it is so wanted out in the, the community. So if you got a little bit of time to wait, you can probably make most of your money back if it doesn't work for you because Moscow gear holds up, it's durable, they've got great customer service. If it doesn't work for you, you'll definitely be able to get rid of it pretty easily. Plus it just looks awesome. I'm really a huge fan of this stuff. It's, a, it's great looking, it does really well. So one of the other elements that I had kind of forgotten about on this is it also includes its own beaver tail with it. So you strap it to those things that I was talking about before, those little latches here. It'll strap to that and then it folds over the top so you can also throw extra gear in here. So having an added beaver tail, obviously the way that I'm using it, I've already got a beaver tail going over top so I probably won't use this right off the bat. But if ever I wanted this as a standalone bag or maybe if I moved it to the rear plate instead of inside the Reckless 80, I could use two beaver tails and then I've got a ton of stuffable, versatile storage capability between those two beaver tails. Also a great addition. It's got the webbing on the outside if you want to strap an extra bag to it something like that. It's just a really well thought out piece of gear. And, and I've always been super psyched about the way Moscow does stuff. So this is just another in a long line of, of things I've been very psyched about. That's it. That's everything I ordered this time from Moscow. There's a sticker pack in here as always. Let's see if there's anything new. Oh, there's an Outback Motor Tech sticker. I guess they're working with them or maybe that got snuck in there. I don't know. That's awesome. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Uh, I got my order forms, a little detail about guarantees and such. Are there stickers? There's gotta be stickers. There it is. Nice big vinyl sticker here. This is awesome. Um, not specifically the one that I use on most of my stuff, but still nice stuff. That's everything that I got this time. Uh, like I said, you'll be getting reviews about all this stuff as I start using it and getting out a little bit more. It's been a really hectic couple of months for me, which is why the videos have been sort of spotty, but the trip is coming. It's probably getting moved from August to September. So all those folks out there that wanted to meet us out and try and get an arrangement uh, for like a dinner or a lunch or drinks or a ride along, we're putting you off probably about a month. We're hoping that Tennessee and Kentucky stay nice through September, maybe into October, but we'll get those schedules arranged. We'll get the dates out to you as soon as we can, but uh, most of this stuff is going to go along with me. So I will have reviews on that shortly as well. We've got other videos that are in the pipeline, things that were delivered, ideas that we've had. There's a lot of stuff still going. I didn't crash. I'm okay. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. More videos will be coming as I get a little bit more time to shoot and edit and, and all that other stuff. Still haven't produced the video for Brett Tax yet about his training cycle, which was awesome. I know he's completely sold out for this year, but I think he's got dates for 22 up already. You're gonna to have to trust me because I don't have the video done yet. If you have an opportunity to train with Brett Tax, do it, find a way. He's gonna be in, I think, Georgia and Virginia next year, along with all the way out on the West Coast. So anywhere you are in the States, you're gonna have an opportunity. I know he's doing a trip to, I think, South Africa and there's a Nepal trip in there. There's tons of opportunities to train with him. If you get that chance, do it. It's going to be worth your time. It's gonna be worth the money. Definitely seek it out and, and find a way to get there. All right, that's everything. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you getting into this, this deep dive of my Moscow Moto gear. If you have any questions for me, leave a comment down below. I've done a lot of research on Moscow Moto, so I might even be able to answer some other questions. They've also got great customer service, so reach out to them. They'll be able to help you. Any other questions you have for me about anything else, leave a comment. Thank you again for watching. This is Chad with Be Gone For Good. Remember, the adventure starts with you, up here and in here. And I'll see you in the next one.